Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, Venom Xenomorph. Hello everyone, my name is the Venom Xenomorph and welcome to the first episode of Vex's Horror Corner. I'm back. Hello. Greetings. Um, I'm super excited to begin the series of this podcast. It's going to be a horror-themed podcast. Every episode is going to be based around a different topic regarding the horror franchise, mostly video game news, but also covering some of the other big developments in the franchise. And I'm very excited to begin the series with a topic that's pretty near and dear to me, so much so that it actually is one of the main inspirations of the very channel. I'm, of course, referring to Alien. Uh, Alien was my first ever rated R film, and I can't wait to cover all of the upcoming projects regarding the franchise in today's podcast. Starting with nothing held back, we got some incredible news on Noah Hawley's Alien TV show. Uh, it's currently set to begin production this year, but most of the plot and everything like that has been pretty radio silent. One of the things that they've been absolutely positive to cover lately is exactly what it has to do plot wise with where we are in the world uh they're really excited to anticipate the fact that the show is taking place on earth and is going to heavily rely on the Wayland yutani corporation as a plot device that being said though the xenomorph will be very apparent in the show and they have finally revealed using avp galaxy as an exclusive release net uh some official concept art for the show and it looks absolutely astonishing. Uh, the main crash artwork is pretty interesting to me. Um, there's a lot of symbolism for Wayland Utani, but according to interviews, this could actually be the ship anyway, belonging to a new corporation being introduced to the alien universe as a new company known as the Prodigy Corporation, which we know absolutely nothing about. Like I said, they've been really radio silent regarding this show. Um, this is pretty much all the new news that we have is this concept art. Um, we have another concept art that's pretty straightforward, just them discovering a xenomorph hive with a lot of eggs. And then lastly, a beautiful concept art of a xenomorph in what looks like a space air shaft, uh, fighting a human being or android. You don't, you never know. And it looks absolutely incredible. All this concept art looks really, really great. And the show, like I said, begins production next year. So hopefully the show will actually be really good. It's been in the talks for a very long time, even before the 20th century buyout from Disney. So the fact that Disney is continuing full steam ahead on this project is very, very, very exciting. Next up, we're going to be talking about Fede Alvarez's Alien film. This is going to be a film that's independent from the current Alien storyline. So Prometheus, Covenant, the original Alien films have nothing to do with the plot of this film. It's going to be completely separate and on its own. Uh, it's currently rumored to be a Colonial Marines film, and it's currently in the early stages of development. Uh, for a new Alien film, Fede Alvarez is probably one of the best people to talk to. He's one of the reasons that Don't Breathe was such a success. And he also made the Evil Dead remake. And Bruce Campbell has actually openly stated on Twitter since the news broke out that Fede Alvarez was making this film, that he totally thinks that he would do such a great job. You know, like, even Andy Campbell, my friend, and his son has come out to support him. So I have good faith in Fede. I totally believe that he's capable of making a great alien film that can stand on its own uh, without any sort of, you know, repercussions or backlash from the last few films. Uh, because I know that Alien Covenant and Prometheus weren't unanimous, unanimously supported, you know? Next, we're going to be talking about video games, finally. We're talking about Ser Servios's Aliens game. Uh, this game is going to be an independent story set between the original and second films, and will center around a battle-hardened veteran with a vendetta against the Xenomorphs. Uh, it's currently set to release on PC, consoles, and VR and will be a single-player action survival horror game. So I think this is going to be the game that will step up Alien Isolation a little bit in terms of replacing it as one of the greatest Alien games of all time because we're talking single-player survival horror uh, with a bit of an action twist. So this literally looks like if Alien Isolation was a Colonial Marines game, and I actually am really excited for this. Not only that, but... a Apparently, since it will be releasing on systems such as PC and console, and not just the VR, Servios has a 
history in VR. They've made some really good games and succeeded in the VR market. So the fact that it's going to be a game set on other systems, I really think this could be Alien Isolation because Alien Isolation was a moddable VR game on the PC through the Oculus and stuff like that, but it never actually had a VR uh, format or VR mode. So this could actually take over the the number one spot for the number one Aliens game, in my opinion. I, I personally think that when this game comes around, I will try my absolute best to get all the news out on it to you guys as fast as possible. I really don't want to waste any time regarding that game, and I would love to cover it as much as possible. If Servios is watching this, um, hi guys, and you know, I I've been partnered with Aliens Fireteam Elite for a while, so y I have that, I guess, on my resume, so if you guys want to reach out, I'm absolutely down to cover your game. Um, the last game that was a bit of a shock to me uh, that was announced earlier this year, uh, back in, I think, July, was Focus Entertainment's Aliens Dark Descent. Uh, this game officially has a release date in 2023. It is a tactical squad-based action game with permadeath, adaptive AI strategy, squad customization, resource management, and it looks good? Uh, the tactical squad-based shooters are not my kind of game, okay? So I can't stand... I, I can't be here during this podcast and say oh this is going to be a fantastic game and like you know i already pulled the better than alien isolation card on servios's aliens i can't say it for this game um that being said though there are a lot of qualities for this game that are really really interesting to me so the squad customization is obviously going to be something that is unanimous across most uh aliens games i think in the future regarding uh, customization because Aliens Fireteam Elite did it. This game's going to do it. I doubt Servios is going to do it because it sounds very story based. But that being said, it is likely. Uh, Colonial Marines games usually allow you to customize your Marine. But the permadeath and adaptive AI strategy actually does interest me. So the point of view of this game is you're going to be a commander of a squadron of Colonial Marines trying to clean out a hive outbreak uh on the station with wayland yutani soldiers actually being opposed against you trying to protect the growth of the hive um which is totally understandable plot wise but the thing that really makes me kind of impressed by this is the adaptive ai strategy because last time we saw adaptive ai in a video game uh, regarding the alien universe was alien isolation. The way that they had broken down the xenomorph in alien isolation was it basically had two brains, one knowing exactly where the player was almost all the time, and the other brain knowing the layout of the map. So it gave the xenomorph a bit of a, a more liveliness feature. It, it made it feel like the xenomorph was a living being, not just some computer-generated enemy. Uh, so this game boasting that the that the enemies that you face throughout the game uh, will adapt to your strategies as you're moving your your marines along is actually going to be really impressive because there are a lot of these games where you kind of figure out the main strategy against everything and they don't you could just do the same thing over and over and it will work and it will get you to the end it's a bit of a grind sort of thing but this game kind of proposes that you won't be able to do that not only that but permadeath actually brings up a very very crucial management system because you're supposed to be able to manage like resources such as your marines health munitions as well as sanity so there are a lot of circumstances where you're going to be managing these marines and you could lose one due to a psychotic breakdown or you could lose one due to excuse me due to a xenomorph attack either way someone's going to die and you can't get them back so you will need to enlist a new marine to fill that spot and according to the leveling system the leveling system will be independent on each marine so if you lose a crucial member of your team you're going to have to take a step back and you know rebuild your colonial marine team until you have a cru that crucial spot filled which is really really impressive i actually like the sound of that but like I said, this game really just isn't for me. I will definitely cover news on this game. It is an Aliens game. Uh, but if uh, even if the devs don't reach out and say like and don't offer any sort of beta codes or anything like that, 
Uh, I'm not too worried about missing out on this one. I'm more excited for Servios' Aliens, because that's definitely more my kind of game. But, yeah, thank you for coming to the first episode of Vex's Horror Corner. I'm really excited to be continuing this podcast. It'll be popping up every Sunday. Uh, it's going to be very short podcast episodes, so I really hope that people actually tune in on this, because there are a lot of these podcasts that are, like, you know, hours long, and I'm sure that mine will be longer if I have, like, a celebrity guest or anything on the show, but for the current moment, you know, it's going to be pretty short episodes covering everything new in the, in the franchise. Uh, I'm really excited for all the things upcoming for the alien projects let me know in the comments down below if you like the show so far vex's horror corner if you want to see more of it and leave your suggestions as to what horror franchises i should cover in the future down below not only that but please tell me what you think of the alien news that we have so far let it let me know about all the topics that we've covered in this episode and i can't wait to see your guys's replies in the comments thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.